Hey guys, here are the results of our war with Dark Valhalla. You can see we came in two stars short. Now we had a bunch of attacks that we didn't use. Again, I think this was one where the match was odd and some people just didn't show up because they didn't think there was probably a chance. In the high bases, we had a couple of near misses, 93, 94, 96% kind of two stars. Had we hit those, we would have won this war. So it's one of those you just got to keep trying till the bitter end. But uh, the people who showed up did a really good job, had some great attacks, and we're going to look at a few of those, and then we'll look at a wrap-up of how the two clans match at the end of the video. In this video, I'm going to stick to the bottom two-thirds of the map, so I won't be showing you any dips, and I won't be showing you those near-miss, high 90% two-stars. This is Black Phoenix bringing a Weaver attack. Notice the walls he chose to open up. That gets him into the first expo, and it's going to help his troops funnel right into the second expo. So two golems down, set a nice wide funnel. Gets in with his wizards and his queen, who are going to take out the clan castle troops. Drops a nice heal spell right there to make sure he doesn't lose all his troops to that dragon before it goes down. The Valks go in as soon as they get into that compartment. The next place they're going to go is into the second expo. That's the thing you really want to take down. And now they're going to just kind of melt through this troop. A really nice second heal spell placement right there. Now a bunch of his Valks go south, and he kind of liked them to get business done and hurry up and get up there and help up in the north. And they're going to do it. They take a couple of seconds to get through these walls and these couple of cannons down here in the south. Another heal spell. He wants to keep them at high health as they move into that second cannon and to have good health as they move up to the north part of the space. There's still a couple of defenses up there. And here go all his orange heads headed for the Tesla. Right about here, the king is going to go down and those Valks go right into a giant bomb and had they not had good health he might not have gotten this but his heal spell placement was perfect. Here's Spoon bringing a stoned hobo coming in from the west. Notice he's able to drop wizards to start taking out the trash real early on since they're out of the range of anything. Golems go down from the northwest gets the lure of the clan castle troops. Queen and a couple wizards with poison spells take them out. Breaks into the wall, nice jump spell. Where are the bowlers? Outside the base. They are not going to get shot at. They're having none of it. They are. They want to come away without a nick or a scratch. Hogs come in from the south and are the heroes of this raid with the help of a heal spell right there, nicely placed. They roll right through all the defenses in the space. The bowlers are just doing cleanup, going around the south, staying out of harm's way. They think they're going to come out of this without the need for even a band-aid. And what happens, the last thing they do is walk into a giant bomb and nearly all get killed. So good riddance to those bowlers. Here's Christina doing what Christina does, bringing mass dragons, zap, quake, and air defense coming on top of the other two air defenses. Notice those first couple dragons get dropped on the left. They are to help make sure the other dragons funnel. Once the main pack of dragons is taken out the first row of buildings, the clan castle loons come in and they are, with a quick stop on an archer tower, going to go straight to the second air defense and take it out. So all three air defenses are down. The balloons are going to go down, but that's okay. There's plenty of dragons up. As long as the air defenses are down, you don't really need the balloons. There's plenty of dragons to take out the few remaining things that are going to shoot at them. You've got a wizard tower, actually two wizard towers, an archer tower, and a Tesla, but that's no problem. Notice the use of the king there. The king got dropped on the outside of the walls. That serves a good purpose. The king is taking out trash buildings and helping the dragons stay focused inside the walls blow and fire on the defenses rather than getting distracted by those buildings outside the walls and use your king to help the dragons stay on target. Here's Valicia with mass hogs, one hog from the southeast to get the clan castle lore, to sacrifice that hog. Now Valicia knew that there were troll Teslas in this base because Sid had scouted it. So he gets the lure over here in the corner. Watch the poison spell. The dragon's shadow is in the middle of the poison spell. It's not the dragon's body, but the shadow that has to be in that poison spell. Now he uses the golem and the king and the wizards to start doing damage to the space before the hogs go down. Heal spell where his hogs enter the base. And there's going to be two more heal spells as they move through the base. There's the second one and there's the third one. Hogs are rolling this base.
looks like they're about to take out the last defense, except there are, again, as I said, troll Teslas, so they go down and get the second Tesla, and they gotta go up in the west corner and get the third Tesla. Notice there are enemy skeletons chasing them. So they'll take out this Tesla, giant bomb, but they had plenty of health, so no problems. Then they take out the skellies, and now they go in, and they're doing cleanup, and we'll speed it up here, because the rest of this attack is pure cleanup. Notice the enemy king came down and attacked the hogs and they took him out real quickly. And speaking of Sid, here's a nice three-star go white. He's going to enter from the east. Golem and a P.E.K.K.A. and wizards. Wall breaks in. Some of his troops go in, but this king and two P.E.K.K.A.s go out. And at first, I thought that was a mistake on setting the funnel. Now, wizards come in, take care of the clan castle troops with the help of a poison spell. But I realize he may have actually intended going in this way. He wants to, his troops that entered from the east, what's right here, wall breakers, so he comes in also from the south. But he wanted his troops coming in from the east to get rid of one of the, actually two of the air defenses. And then his troops coming in from the south to work their way up toward that third air defense. I don't think they quite get there yet, but he's got air troops in the clan castle. And as soon as that third air defense goes down, this dragon is free to clean up the rest of this space. So this attack worked really well. I was thinking it had gone south in the beginning, but it just per played out perfectly. Wizards actually distracting the archer tower there for the dragon. Wizards tanking for a dragon. I'm not sure I'd seen that before. And of course there's nothing at this point shoot back at the dragon. The dragon finishes it off. Here's Nick with another mass hog uses a hole in the base to expose the Tesla, lure the clan castle, and blow up a giant bomb. Really well spent Archer. Archers and wizards to kill the dragon had to sacrifice his king, but that's okay with a low level king. Sacrificing him to anchor the dragon is just fine. Hogs come in from the east. Really nicely placed heal spells where the hogs are going to go, so they spend the maximum amount of time in those heal spells. And right about here, all the defenses are down. And once again, we are in cleanup mode, so wizards have come down to help with the cleanup. There's a few archers and a few barbs. The enemy king is still patrolling, but a pack of wizards is going to two-shot him. And here go the last few storages and builder huts and there's another real pretty three-star hog attack and last but not least is Diverson bringing pretty much a pure loon attack he's got some archers and wizards mostly to kill the clan castle troops gets the easy lorks the clan castles out on the edge dragon over the builder hut surrounds him with archers and wizards drops a poison spell now the dragon's a little bit north of this poison spell if, if Diverson had dropped a wizard over on the left of the poison spell. He could have pulled that dragon back into it, but he had plenty of troops to take out the dragon, so no big deal at all. All the balloons come down on the southeast side, except for the clan castle balloons, which come in from the southwest, wants to make sure he gets him into that last air defense. Nice haste spell to get the, through the core of the base. Plenty of balloons, big pack of balloons to take out the final four defenses. Balloons split, which mine never do. They always stay in one pack, but he is actually split into three, which is great for cleanup. A couple wizards go off to the north there to take care of a couple buildings up in the corner. And this base is just about done right there. So, nice three-star balloon attack. And here's how Supercell matched us up. The other clan outranked us at the top of the map. We outranked them at the bottom of the map. They had exactly twice as many bases with Infernos and with Bowlers and with Miners. And that just made it tough for us on the top of the map, which of course is the only place that you ever leave open stars.